Ladies and gentlemen, for the past two months, I swear, I've been getting non-stop messages saying, Ando, when is the next episode with our main man, PokeCollex? We're dying for more PokeCollex booster packs. Can you please open some more? And finally in the mail, I've got another care package from none other than the man, the myth, the legend, known only as PokeCollex. Alright, so if you don't know who PokeCollex is, who I'm sure everybody does by now, it's basically a guy that started his own booster pack company because he always bought random booster packs in the store and he's like, you know what, I don't like the fact I don't know what I'm going to get inside of them. So I'm going to start my own company which like gives out normal legit Pokemon cards, but you just know what booster pack you're buying. So there's like a premium vintage pack meaning you're only going to get like vintage cards. It's a really sick idea and I love every time he sends in a care package opening them on the channel. So, he said, Ando, this, what, uh, this package we're sending in right here, easily the best I've ever sent. You've got part number one and part number two, but then hold on to your pants because right here is the open last almighty envelope. Usually he only sells, like, sends one of these at the end and they're like epic cards. But the crazy part was, we've got that ultra rare yellow envelope, but then he said, Ando, there's also bonuses, including a mystery pack of number five, number four, then you guessed it, three, two, and one. I can already see a slither of gold in like the uh, pack number three there. So I think at the end of today's episode, we're gonna open up mystery pack one and two, just to tantalize our taste buds for tomorrow. But holy smokes, we are about to go for a two-part banger ruski. All right, so without further ado, let's get this party started. We're going to save those right for the end. They're going to be a special treat, but let's start off with none other than a premium vintage pack. Usually, these are my favorites because you don't know what you're going to get, um, but it has got a good mixture of, like, first edition, really nice fossil hollows I've got before. We've actually got a couple of error cards. Oh, my God. Look at this. He's actually surprised us with a couple of, like, error cards before. We got a beautiful blue stamped error haunter, and I got it PSA graded. That's the best part about PokeCollex as well. A lot of the cards that he does find, very PSA gradable. So if you're thinking you get, like, an absolute banger, you can get a graded. Tangler? Dude, these are actually legit. These are really good. We got a Switch as well. Switch trainer card. Then a Team Rocket's Dark Rapidash looking good. What do we got here? We got a Cloyster. And then it all comes down to the top loader. Alright, so that was just like giving us a massage. That was warming us up. Then inside of the sleeve of the premium vintage pack is none other. No way. First edition Dratini from Team Rocket. Already fantastic. And then we go and get a absolute minty fresh holo base set to Raichu. Oh my, look how mint that is. That is ridiculous. That holo looks so good by the way. That is a beautiful looking card. Raichu's already such a special Pokemon. Chuck him in base set two. Chuck him as a holo form. That is how you want to start it off. Gee, we oh my, what the flip? This first edition, was there always first edition packs? I swear that's new. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe these are my new favorite. I didn't realize there's such thing. First edition, Jigglypuff to start off the first edition pack. Well, then we got Slowpoke first edition from Fossil. And a Charmander first edition. I'm waiting for the day we randomly get like a Charizard or something in here. That would blow my socks so far off. I don't think it's possible though. That'd be like $50,000. All right, what do we got here? None other than a first edition Graveler of Fossil as well. Very Bob Ross style artwork right there. Swing it around. Oh my goodness! A holo first edition Electrode straight off of the base set to write you. What the flip is this over? I totally understand why you guys keep inboxing me asking for more PokeCollects. Because this man never fails. I legit think I can see my soul in the uh, back of that mirror. It looks like a mirror. It's so, like, thick. That's awesome, though. The Upside Down Pokeball Electrode. Jungle First Edition. Wow, that's... I guess that's something I don't see often at all. First Edition Jungle cards. Oh, I won't put them both at the back. We'll put the holo right there. The recap is going to be fantastic, as it always is. And then why not? The next booster is an ultra rare only pack. The only thing inside of this booster right here are going to be ultra rares, including what's going to be in the first lot of sleeves right here. So we start off with a Lolan Ninetales GX. Then we got Victini V. He's got brand new Sword and Shield cards as well, I forgot. Then we got the Marsh Shadow and Marchamp Tag Team GX. And what do we got coming up? What's in the top loader right here? 
I'm gonna. Oh no, it's a Rayquaza. It's the Mega Rayquaza EX. And then as we swing it, look at that. Dragon Ascent has 300. But as we swing it around, it's a full art. Scizor GX. Come on, son. It does not get better than a Poke Collect Mystery Box. What's in the random packs number one and two? That's my other question as well. Like at this point, it feels like I've developed a hack for Pokemon cards. It's just buy it off Poke Collect, buy a booster off him rather than the actual store. Um, it does. It feels like I've worked out a cheat code. Dude. I gotta, I gotta do an interview with this man. Like, how does he source this many epic cards? Because trying to find all of these cards to fulfill all the orders, you'd have to do some serious trading or buying, wouldn't you? Full art god pack. No way! Did we just hit jackpot on the first round? I think he's worked out exactly what I love. Because when I buy my boosters off him, um, I think he always tracks my order, so he knows exactly what to send me. Oh my goodness, because this is exactly what I'd order. First edition, full arts, I love them. Jolteon EX. Oh my goodness, that Shauna Fuller is beautiful. I'm putting these at the back, who cares. Shauna, Trainer, Full Art. Then a Cooper Raja VMAX. Interesting, so VMAX's passes Full Art cards. And I understand that because it's got the same texture. I, th I don't know, I think if you get technical it doesn't actually count. But then I think if you look at it, it's got the same texture, same feel. What do you reckon? In your opinion, do you reckon VMAX's count as Full Arts or not? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm very curious what you guys reckon. <gasps> no! What the f- Oh my- This is a regular booster! Get back! Oh my gosh, I threw it into the- I, I literally just kicked the chair into the window. Dude, I have legitimately just cracked my window, but I also got a Full Art Solgaleo GX Gold card. And check this out, Sylveon Full Art Dark Pink Background GX as well. Holy smokes. I'm like stunned, I'm lost for words. And I'm also absolutely, like this already, so much money um, graded. Uh, cause Hidden Fates is going up, 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 up. Oh my gosh. I gotta record part number two straight after this because if this is the caliber that is in the regular boosters, my only question now is what's in this? Open last Poke Collect. Huh? Like what? I'm trying. I'm trying to rack my brain. What? What have I been asking for on the channel that could like possibly be in there recently? I don't know. Cause I got my. Sh he literally sent me the Shining Charizard. The only other one I have is sent from my main man. This is sick. A Ultra Prism stamped Lucario Hollow. So this is a promo and miscellaneous pack. Shiny Zorua. That's going at the back because like that's getting more valuable by the day, and it looks sick. Love his blue hair. Then a hollow black star promo Reshiram. And what's in the top loader on these promo miscellaneous packs? Oh, wow. Serial promo Eevee right there with all of the crazy hollows. And a first edition pre-release. Aerodactyl from Fossil. Yo. I've got, guys, I've got another stack of boosters for tomorrow's opening. But he's already dropping first edition pre-release stamped cards on this thing. This is so OP. If you haven't demolished the like button for my main man for this crazy video, I swear I haven't recorded something like this in a hot minute. These are outdoing TCA's ones, to be honest. If I get one gold star, it's game over. TCA did send in the gold stars. So we got a first edition pack again. I'm really getting around these first edition packs, especially coming from a first edition Aerodactyl pre-release card. So we got Geodude from Fossil, looking good. My main man's looking gorgeous as always. Got a Magnemite from Team Rocket. Very simple, very plain, and a shoulder. So very Fossil and Team Rocket orientated cards right now. But then inside of the sleeves, got a Gloom from Jungle, first edition. And then, oh my goodness. It's a Dark Gyarados, first edition from Team Rocket. Nothing to sneeze at. I wouldn't be sneezing anyway, put your mask on. Look at that though, Dark Gyarados. Got a very thin, like you can really see when you, I guess look at back-to-back -back first edition cards, or that often, see how like some of them are thinner and some of them are thicker? The stamp actually varies. I know what you think, like, oh, they print at the same factory. The stamp should always be the same. Well, young Jonathan, that's where you're wrong. Apparently the stamp got thinner and thicker throughout the uh, years, and that's actually something that hardcore collectors will go about. 
Oh, before they buy a card, they'd be like, okay, is that a thinly stamped one or a thickly stamped one? <laughs> is thickly stamped a word? Probably not. Okay, let's keep going. I think this is a Japanese pack, was it? A Japanese god pack? Why not? Why wouldn't it be? Three GXs like that and a LOL and Executor to finish that off. Then as we open up the sleeves, get the top loaders out, we've got Japanese Magic Up and Whale Lord, the most powerful tag team card there is in the planet. And why would it not finish off with the Latias and Latios full art? Look at that! Looks like margarine in the background. It's a bit worse, a bit worse than like mustard sauce. That is unbelievable. I get Pokemon Forever movie vibes. Do you guys or not? 240 on the attack? This is ridiculously sick. I don't know, I love the patterns, I love this card, and the Pokemon are really cool as well. Oh, recap's gonna go off today. Okay, put you to the side, and we're a bit way, uh, we're actually way over halfway. This is gonna come to an end soon, but we still have our mystery packs at the end. Ultimate mystery pack, and we've still got our legitimately mystery packs like these ones. Open up the sleeve, turn you around, oh my goodness that is sick. We have a Dratini, first edition from Neo Destiny in the claymation form. That is peak life. <gasps> Evolutions are uh, Holo Raichu. And the pre-release stamped Holo Dark Gyarados? What the heck is a mystery pack? No way, this is like a vintage one. I love this. I honestly think that might have, might have been my favorite booster so far. But my only concern right now is that wasn't actually in the top loader, that was in the rare. Oh, yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have just got a rainbow rare B-Max Cooper Roger, and then a full art shiny buzz wall and a hidden face as well. Knuckle Impact and Absorption GX, Jack Punch. I don't know which one I like more, to be honest. I mean, I love Rainbow Rares, especially in Japanese. I got a stack grade because I genuinely just enjoyed the artwork and I love the texture, the design of the card. Cooper Roger VMAX is absolutely banging too, but then Hidden Fates. The set that is so popular, it's so in right now. We go up for the shiny Buzzwell full art. Which one do you like more? Leave in the comments right now. If you had to pick, brand new Rainbow Rare or Hidden Fates shiny card, Buzzwell. Now look at this, Japanese Ultimate Collection. This thing's thicker than my doormat, look at that. It's a chunker, it's got like three sleeves. Alright, I don't know how we got this. I get the feeling you went to a ja Oh, no way. Poke- If you buy a booster off PokeCollects, I genuinely don't think you get duds, ever. I think it's always just slappers. Because look at this. It's all holo cards. Are you kidding me? So he's like bought someone's collection. Oh, there's the reverses. Shard glass holos as well. Then a character- Wow. I never realized Japanese literally write character rare down the bottom. English, it's like, oh, here's a surprise card, don't know what it is. Japan's like, okay, this is legitimately a character rare. Prism Lunala? Oh, wow. Hidden Fates, Shiny Guzzlord. Hopefully you can see the texture, guys. I'll try to zoom up on it, but that is wild. I've not seen a Japanese Hidden Fates card in ages. I'm gonna put that at the back. I've actually got a full completed set of uh, Hidden Fates in Japanese. I know you don't believe, but I do, and I also got the Charizard. Like, I made a, a uh, statement when that set came out. I was like, I gotta complete the Hidden Fates set all in Japanese. And I think we managed to do it too. Took quite a few boxes, but... Back in the day, Hidden Fates wasn't that popular until it came out in English. We got Amani. Here we go, Giratina Hollow. Then we got Professor's Research. Then we've got... Is that a... That's a first edition! Whoa, that's tiny, but that's a first edition! Mewtwo Hollow card. Dude, in Japanese of course, but who cares? It's a Japanese collection pack. First edition Mew Holo, Mewtwo Holo, sorry. We're gonna keep going because I'm actually wondering what's in the top loader right now. Dialga EX. Okay, we got a Zacian V, very expensive V as it is because it's very competitive. Then that tag team, Pikachu and Zekrom GX, and let's have a look at what was in here. Oh gosh, Japanese of course. Oh wow! Holy smokes! It's Sil Valley, shiny full art from the Japanese Hidden Fate set, and a Sizzle V Max. And that's legitimately after the uh, brand new set that just came out in Japan. As if. He's already got Sizzle V Maxes, 
And he's got the brand new or the uh, old school Hidden Fates set. I don't know, guys. I swear Japanese Hidden Fates cards, they're on another level. They're so high quality. So here we've got a promo slash miscellaneous pack again. Then we've only got two boosters and we'll open up the mystery packs and we're going to call it a day. And then we'll open up whatever's in part number two, which I've got to record ASAP because that is ridiculous. Forbidden Light promo like and rock. Got the stamp there as well. Oh my goodness. Shining Legends, Shining Volcanion. But what do you guys reckon of the uh, Shining cards out of Shining Legends? I feel like it's a hot debate at the moment. Everyone's saying it's a copy of Neo Destiny and it never worked. Some people love the set and they want me to open it all the time. So what are you guys' thoughts when you see this? You see Shining Volcanion. Do you love it or do you like hate it? I'm going to put it in the back because I personally find it really cool. It's a textured Pokemon on a regular card. Glass Holo Zoroark. And then out of the promo miscellaneous pack, got a Mimikyu character art card there, looking good. Get out of Cosmic, and oh wow! Oh, it's the ultra playable full art day Denny. GX, that is nuts. Is it still playable? I'm curious when the uh, TCG changes over and this becomes not so hot, but for now, the artwork alone, man, is something else to put my binder. I've been collecting these ever since I got a couple in the, uh, what is it, Elite Trainer Box thing, that kit. I want to do a whole page of bind oh, in my binder of just all D Danny GX full arts. So let's put you at the back. We could definitely probably do that. Okay, put you there, put the character art to the side. Second to last booster. The only thing inside of this booster is going to be ultra rares, guys. And that's it. Ultra rare only pack. Mega Absol G uh, EX, not GX. Then a Dark Ride GX. Then a Toxtricity V, leading up to what could be, or what is in, the uh, top loader. Oh, this top loader is like sealed shot. I think the goods are inside of here. Because here we got Blast Toys and Pimplop, GX, regular, and then when you swing it around, it reveals a sh How many Hidden Fates cards are in here? Young Timmy, literally explain yourself right now. Mr. CEO of Poke Collects, what's going on? Glaceon GX full art card. With Polar Spear, Frost Bullet. Put you guys in the back because you know what? Let's find out what's in uh, mystery pack number one and two. We got the ultimate mystery pack to end it off as well. That's hilarious. Okay, open up this. Should I do a bite? Oh, it's first edition Neo Destiny again. This is already worth money. Should I do... Oh my gosh. It's a base set uh, Mewtwo or it's an Evolutions one. Evolutions Mewtwo. I feel like I should do a binder update though. Don't you? After all of this stuff, especially after tomorrow's episode, we probably need to do a binder update. We've got a Pikachu EX. These are hands down the most fun episodes I do record ever. Because it's just like, oh, what do you need for your collection? All right. We got... Oh, wow. No kidding. The full red Reshiram GX full art card. This is basically half of the Chorizon and Reshiram card before they merge together. Oh, what the heck? It's a Japanese VMAX uh, Dreadnought. Unreal. So basically another full art with the texture. This is awesome, though. This looks so nice. I love that color red. It's a very velvety style red, isn't it? I guess something you'd see on the uh, cinema floor. Put you at the back. The back is exploding right now. And you know what? We're going to put Dreadnought at the back, too. Okay. Let's find out what was inside of Mystery Pack number one and two and die. So what was in Mystery Pack number one? Dude, I think we gotta peel the sticker off. Oh guys, this could be very dangerous. I'm gonna outline the uh, top right here so we can break it open. I literally have no idea what's gonna be inside of these, but I know they're good because they haven't sealed up that well. And there's, why is there five of them too? That's my other question. So let's get you out. Let's pop you out of the sleeve. And here we go, mystery pack number one out of two for today's episode. It's going to contain a Mega Lucario full art EX card. That looks gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Swing it around to reveal shiny red full art Gyarados uh, EX as well. I keep wanting to say GX card. Stormy Seas and Splash Burn 130. Oh, this full art like collection is just off the chain today. This recap's going to go off. All right, so first up in the mystery pack, Mega Lucario EX and a shiny red Gyarados EX. Put you guys at the back and what's in... Mystery pack number two. Once again, got to be really careful not to rip anything else. Pop you guys open, get the cards out. 
No way. What? What's that? What's that? What's that? Holy smokes! It's a full art Mewtwo uh, EX gold border right there. And what's on the other side? Oh, okay, I'm gonna pass out. It's the. All right, it's the full gold Dragonite full art EX card. The absolute gem himself. The ridiculous card. All right. Somehow, I'm going to pull myself together right now and do a recap. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe that this right here, this entire recap, is one individual part of every holo and better. That is ridiculous. Like, the first part's not even meant to be the best one. The second one is. So the fact we got this much cool stuff in one part is just crazy. So, let's start down here with the prisms or the hollows. I think there's a couple of reverses in here as well. I mean, we've got a Forbidden Light stamped promo right there, which looks really good. A couple of evolution cards. And then down there as well, we're gonna Ultra Prism Stamp Lucario. And yeah, I think there's just like a free for all and just absolutely epic stuff. I mean, that Mewtwo is first edition down there. Then as you come up here, we got all of the V cards, all of the tag teams, and GX and character cards. These are just really cool, but it sort of just gets out outweighed and outshone because then you come up here and check this out. All right, so basically it starts off here with everybody's favorite, Holo Raichu, out of none other than a very popular set right now, Base Set 2. I had no idea the Holo even looked like that in Base Set 2. It's such a peculiar one. Then right next to it, we got that bad boy himself, the upside down Pokeball. It's Electrode in first edition and Holo as well. Then we got Shining Zoroa. That's just an incredible card, but it's right next to Shining Volcanion, Pre-release promo stamped Hollow Dark Arados out of the Team Rocket base at days. We got Guzzlord Shining as well. Then right next to it, another pre-release stamped, but this time it's not only Hollow, it's got the first edition stamp on it as well. I tell you what, we're gonna have a tough time sort of grading or doing like PSA returns this time. So I'm gonna pick out a bunch of these I reckon to go get graded. There's some really good options. Then as you come up here, this is where you're gonna put your pants. It starts off on the left hand side with a full pink Sylveon. Then you got Rainbow Rares, full gold Dragonites, the gold bordered Mewtwo as well, shining Hidden Fates cards as well. Then half of the Reshiram and Charizard full art cards. Then right next to it, really popular and pretty expensive D Denny full art too. And then you come up here, the sun, the shining object at the top that's glowing on all of these. It's the Golden Soul Galio. When you grade it, PSA 10 can be worth over a hundred bucks. So, this is actually a really, really good part one, but ladies and gentlemen, that's not all. Because in 24 hours, I'm gonna upload part number two. So whatever you're doing, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, make sure you do it. I cannot even imagine what's gonna be in part number two, but I'm gonna see you then. Have a fantastic day, but most of all, keep on gaming. I'll see you in 24 hours.